to edit any texture, like skin texture, head texture, and stuff, you will need Wolfen Kit. You can find it's the link is right here. You can probably just search for Wolfen Kit, and it will show up just fine. Yes, this one, and go inside. Personally, I use um. There's two versions. There's Nightly and there's Wolfen Kit. Wolfen Kit is the sta stable version, which um, supposedly is more stable, but depends. And Nightly is the kind of a bad beta version. Uh, personally, I use Nightly, but I do not update that often. But you can try. Like you might run into some bugs, but but most of uh, like. A lot of new features will be available in Nightly first. Okay, so that's uh, also you need a requirement. The requirement is this one. .net seven point zero. Go to the link and download uh, whatever is supposedly your OS. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I will just download the Nightly now. This is the client version, usually called CLI, and this is the WolfKit app itself. For me, I usually download um, the standalone because I, I don't use in installation. That's easier for me to keep multiple versions because right now, uh, after 2.0 comes out, newer like 2.0 pre 2.0 uh, things files need to be edited with pre 2.0 Wolfen Kit because the file structure changed. So that's why I keep multiple versions. Like this one has uh, can edit old files and from I think September 27 from then on it's all 2.0 Wolfen Kit. Okay, so download it and uh, extract it here. And then we can double click to start it. Uh, you can't shut up. <laughs> Windows Defender. Wait for it to start. It usually takes a little bit of time. Okay. Now, when you first open it, there will be no project here. So you can open it and not open. Create a new project, call it whatever, like skin editing maybe, and choose your location where the, the project folder will be at, and create. Okay. Now the first thing is, we need, this is the files in our project, now it's empty, so we need to add the, the skin texture to our project. If you are editing a mod, you, if you have, like I have it installed here, this one, so tick on your mod browser. It might take a long time to load if you have a lot of mods installed, but I don't. Uh, aside from uh, the mod folder, ah, I forgot. <laughs> Before doing that, you, also, you first need to, it should like tell you to set it, but you need to set your um, game, game exe. The part you can kinda ignore, but this is required, so it knows where to find the the, the f mod folder thing. Okay, so um, aside from this, you can also add an extra like folder to check for mods. It's over here. Additional mod directories. This makes uh, the archive mod in that folder show up under here. It should be at the end. Yes. Okay, so now I have this. Just expand and until you see this one. This is the diffuse, which is the color it should show here. Yes. And this is the normal, like the bumpiness of the thing. So usually you edit the diffuse only. So double click to add it to your project. It should appear here. If you are editing like um, vanilla stuff, you can go out of the mod folder and search for it here. You can search for the full path or you can just search for the name. 
should be fine. Now the next thing we need to do is ex export. XBM is a, com I think it's compressed, compressed format, so you cannot directly edit it in like the texture itself here. So we open the export tool here and select this and export. You can use other things if you want. I normally edit in PNG, but I have heard that TGA is a better format, but it's whatever. <laughs> Up to you, really. So now you can see it appears here. You can open it and edit with whatever you have. I can just open Photoshop. And uh, make your edit like whatever you want. I will just paint a thing here. <laughs> Should be fine. And then just save. It's a 4K texture, so it takes a long time. Okay, go back to WolfKit after your edit. It should show up fine. Yes. And then next, import, because it, this is the PNG, we need to import the data, like edit back into XBM. So import. Should It should uh, set the, the uh, preset for you if you are uh, using the in-game naming convention. But if it if it's uh, like a custom path stuff, then you need to um, copy texture, like the settings here, which should be like more defense, but I'm not going to say, talk about it. So just do import. If it's 4K, it will freeze and take a bit of time. <laughs> because yeah okay it should show this and when you go to XBM it should show up here okay now you just need to click this this packs the mod and install it for you in your uh, mod folder if you have specified the um, EXT in the, perf the settings so do this and when you go to mod folder, you should see it show up, which is skin editing. Now, a very important thing is if you have your original skin mod installed, you should delete it because if like, for example, this is base, like B starts with B and my skin editing is like lower load older than it, it will not take effect. So delete this and boot up the game. And it should be fine. Wait for a moment. Oh, I also recommend for um like modding. If you want to load directly into the game, you can use no intro video and I think it's recap video be gone. And also auto load save. It will load directly into the thing. And also now we check. I think it's Yeah, it's two. See your edit is here. <laughs> it's kinda of silly looking, but now it's here. Okay. That's how you edit skin texture or texture stuff.